get it because of his last name. And another rare accomplishment is he joined Toastmasters and he found a wife. And no, I didn't say a wife, I said a wife. <laughs> <laughs> And here he was in his upper 40s, and his family thought for sure he was going to be single. And he got married, and the rest is history. And Alan went to Oregon. He lived in Oregon. And he went to Oregon State. And don't you dare say, Alan, I heard you went to Oregon. He'll correct you right away. Oregon State. Oregon and Oregon State were rivalries. So, Alan was always involved in money. And he, so he became an entrepreneur, or he learned how to be an entrepreneur when he was 10 years old. I, researching this, he talking to Mr. Alan, man, he told me he would send, sell bubble gum the junior high kids for two or three times the cost to come to buy it. Now, I couldn't believe he got it, but he did. <laughs> so right there gave me a clue that this guy knows how to manage money. So we know Alan Mann as our current treasurer. What we don't know is how he got that. Well, rumor has it that he took our past treasurer, Tom Ryder, out in the parking lot. And they are too mature to duke it out, so they wrestled for it. <laughs> <laughs> and Al, who outweighs Tom by quite a bit, and yet he weighs everybody by quite a bit, <laughs> he managed to wrestle it away from Tom. So, our new treasurer became Alan Mann. He wasn't only treasurer of our group, he is treasurer of three other postmasters. That loves him. So, let's go through Alan's accomplishments. He is going to volunteer for the division director of the division. And that's going to be this coming year, I believe. And he is also, like I said, he is Toastmasters of the Simi Valley Toastmasters, the Supper Club, the Jews Toastmasters, and another nonprofit Toastmasters. So, Alan is always involved in Toastmasters in some way. And he never, he always makes himself available to the division. He is volunteering for all kinds of state tournaments and district tournaments. And this, may, they really, really appreciate his readily available attitude. Well, I am very honored to award Mr. Alan Mann as Man of the Year. Now, Alan, just so you don't sell this, they have your picture on this award, so I don't think anybody else will want to buy it. But anyway, we got Alan Mann from the Time Magazine. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs>